Right, man. So this is the second part, you know, to measure the times today, you know, and um, we just going on. Um, basically, we all the prophecy, the major prophecies to the end are unfolding. Martial law, uh, everything. The perfect storm is being, you know, like that really perfect storm. You had the two hurricanes that met each other and formed into one. But they, that's basically what's unfolding in, on the earth now. You've got all these diseases, race riots, all, all of these things are building up and they're just going to explode together in the perfect storm of death. And none of, none of the, these things rise up in the news and they come out in the news, but that doesn't mean it's stopped. It's an ongoing thing. So like the whole thing in Ukraine is ongoing. The financial warfare is ongoing. These things have not stopped. And, and, it, and it's the road to perdition, man. All right, now, what I've done is, just to show you how hot things are, man, I, must, I did a word search on a website called Quail, Steve Quail, and I, all I did was type in Russia into the, um, the headline search. And I'm just going to read some of these headlines here, man, and we'll see if it adds up to we, we on the road to some major shit going down. So I need, let me, uh, I need to turn my phone sideways. Hey, we're in a time of war, man. War is about to break out in a big way. And there's big moves being made right now. Like, big major moves, man. But these sheep or these unwashed masses out here, they don't see the, the, the gravity of what's really going on. Uh, auto-rotate screen. That's the one. There we go. Right. Okay, I can read it now. So I'm gonna just start from just just the 28th of November. Right? Look, it says here, the Russian Navy's northern fleet is holding drills in the English Channel. The fleet's western military regions press service announced Friday. So the Russians are holding war games in the English Channel. Now, the English Channel opens you up to the whole of northern Europe and Britain, which is the, one of the major for, if not the major force next to America in NATO, is the British Army. British Army. So then, not only are they menacing Europe, but they're a drill is a preparation for war. That's what a boxer does. A boxer don't do drills to go eat a dinner. A boxer is drilling for the fight, so that when you get into the fight, you know what to do. And they know a fight is coming, that's why they're having war games and drills. The next next article on the 29th, Russian battleships in the English Channel say they're training. Now, when they're in the English Channel training, not only is that training, but also they're in a state of preparedness because they're already in the zone. And it was, a bit, it was a time when it was so scarce, when they wouldn't even enter each other's water bases, like enter each other's zones and all that. Got, got against different thresholds. They weren't really doing that back in the day too much. It was unseen. Like if you were doing that, that was seen as a warning shot for something to happen. But now, every other week they're saying they're in this territory, that zone. Put up. Submarines are just popping up randomly all over the place. Uh, yeah, you had the one in. <laughs> yeah, you had the one in Sweden when um what they were looking for ten days with a submarine called yeah. it Russian and stuff, and they couldn't find that. Shit. Everyone knows it's wartime. Uh, look at these two yeah, faggots. fucking faggots, man. That's why this place gonna be destroyed, man. They're gonna be part of the fight. You know, it's wartime. That's why. Yeah, more of these flamers, man. Fucking flaming, man. A fish. Flame grill. Right, it's, uh, it's on the 29th again. It says how the US is being set up to lose World War III. <laughs> Russia military activity demonstrates deliberate preparations for World War III. Russian defectors have warned the United States about a multi-generation plot to conquer the United States, man, within. So these, 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 I'm just showing you how just in this last month, all these, uh, these headlines, man, largest, this is from the 30th now, the next day, largest international study in info Oh, what the fuck is that doing in the search? <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, this is another thing. Another thing Russia is doing is exposing America, right? Yeah, yeah. The largest international study in safety of gen genetically modified food launched by Russia, Russian NGO, thousands of rats will be fed Monsanto maize diets in a 23 million three-year factor GMO study into long-term health effects of GM food and assorted pesticides. Now, are the Russians doing that because they care about GMO foods? No, they're doing that because they want to attack Monsanto, which is an American a company, to try and destroy their financial base. See, this, that's part of the financial warfare. Yeah, and um, Russia also brought out not too long ago their findings in their own 9-11 report showing how it was all mini nukes and shit Remember that they had got they yeah they were bringing all that shit out they already know that's why i think um what was it putin one of them said it medvedev the way he's leaving medvedev medvedev said something about 9-11 being a fake ordeal and all that set up and shit now check this next article man that's why this is a world war man this ain't no joke the coming this is from the 30th of zell the coming arctic war I do not see how any reasonable person could read the following accounts of Russian military buildup in the Arctic. You know they're planning all the bases and all kind of shit. And the Arctic is basically another battlefield between Russia and America because one side of the Arctic is Russia and the other side of the Arctic is Alaska, which is basically America. Right? Um, in the Arctic and not conclude that the spark of World War Three will not begin here. Next article. I'm just going to run through then we're going to get the scriptures. This is the 1st of December, the 1st of this month. So that's like a couple of days ago. Fewer articles on Omega Shot. Well, let me read this through again. It is clear that the US is backing Russia into a corner and the Russians know it. The Russians have attempted to warn the US that this course of action is foolish, but the US is paying it no attention. Next day, same day, Russia launches wartime government HQ in major military upgrades. <laughs> Look at all these events that are happening, like man. Just and, and you know what? It's crazy. Like that is like that's that lesser magic, man. Now the Illuminati will tell you something before it happens. They're telling you, man. They're gonna start doing some mad war tactics. They're preparing, here, man. man. And, and it's gonna actually play out, man. That's they're right. saying what they're gonna do because the, the masses ain't watching news like that. They ain't paying attention. But for the elites of all these different nations in Europe and they're NATO, seeing that the writing's seeing, on the wall. Oh, yeah, the writing's on the wall. Now it's playtime. They know what time it is. This no, this is ine it's inevitable. Yeah, it's inevitable. Putin's government is from the first as well. Putin's government now says Russians can can now carry guns for self-defense. Now, why are they doing that? Because they know that if them NATO forces enter into Russia, they want the civilian force to be armed to fight against them forces. It's as simple as that. It ain't because they care about a Russian self-defense. Is they're preparing for war. And then when you prepare for war properly, you're gonna arm your citizens. Okay. Unlike them stupid, well, you, stupid ass Americans. Yeah, then they just um, bring out a, 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 a they've uh, been rebranding the Kalashnikov as well in Russia. Yep. So um, you know, now firstly they're allowed to buy the arms um, as it is, and now they're bringing out a new better uh, Kalashnikov. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like AK forty seven. Now. This is, this is the other side of the thing, the beast now. NATO prepares spearhead to ward off Russia. NATO Secretary General Jen Stol Stoltenberg has voiced concern about Russia's aggressive behavior. He told a press conference that the alliance was working on a super spearhead to deter any possible threat. So NATO are trying to respond. That bitch ass NATO. Next article on the second. Tensions between the US and Russia are worse than you realize. Remarks by Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, the similarities to the period just before World War I are indeed striking. So you got guys that are analyzing what's going on on a political level and the speeches that the different forum and saying, hold on, this is the same thing that happened before World War I. This is the same thing that happened before World War II. And history is repeating itself. Let's move on. Russia to carry out large-scale military drills in 2015. More drills. 
Russian, this is on the third now, Russian Air Force to acquire new aircraft, Helos, bolster Arctic presence. They prepare for war and call it like it is. Meanwhile, in, El, in La La Land, our military has been destroyed, our best leadership sacked, new weapon systems failing, and morale lower than ever. So the stage is getting set for you Americans to get your, your ass handed to you. On the third again, Russia's monetary solution, the hypothesis that follows if carried through, is certain to have a significant effect on gold and the relationship between gold and all government issued currencies. Now, that's a different rumor. Let me get this article. Oh, this is beautiful right here. Now, you notice that all these, the oil, like the price of the petrol is at 119, man. Right. 118 over here. Like, yeah. God, that it ain't been that low for decades, man. And I'm like, damn, well, you know what that is? Financial warfare because Russia is doing things to destroy the dollar. So now America are trying to hit back at Russia by lowering the price um, of oil oh, yeah. and gas which is the mainstay of the Russian economy. So they're fighting a financial war right now. Now it says, um, World War III already being played out in financial markets. Vladimir Putin's worst nightmare may be happening right now. Vladimir Putin's worst nightmare may be happening right now is Russia's tanking economy making its leader vulnerable. Because right now the ruble is plummeting, high inflation, Right? So it looks like gold. Is it? Right. Because basically what's happening is the Russian economy is based on oil. And to break even, the oil price has to be at least a hundred dollars. But right now the oil price is more 64, 69. So what that means is the Russian economy is getting butt fucked. And who's doing that? That's the Americans fighting back against Russia because Russia's killing the dollar. So they're using their methods to kill the ruble. So they're fighting a financial war and right now, really Russia's losing right now. So Russia's gonna do something now. They're gonna do some drastic measures. Hey, but that's, the, that's, that's it. That's, they're gonna push each other and push each other until eventually the only thing that's gonna have to happen is the guns are gonna come out. Yeah, bring it out. Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them which shall not regard silver as a for gold, they shall not delight in it. That means that basically this, they're gonna push, Russia and America are gonna push each other to the point where when Russia come up against America, they're not going to give a fuck. It's going to be all out war for blood. They ain't going to take no peace talk. They ain't going to take no payoff. It's going to be for destruction. Okay? And that's where that's where we're headed. To the brick point. To that point where ain't no nothing but guns, no more bullets, worse. and the missiles going to be launched. No this is um, another article from the 5th. It says, Reckless, Congress declares war on Russia. Today, the US House passed what I consider to be one of the worst pieces of legislation ever. Now let's look into that legislation. This realness, man. While you guys in the black unconsciousness community are, are debating about Horace's penis, man. Nukes on the moon. It says, Today the US passed what I consider to be one of the worst pieces of legislation ever. House Resolution 758 was billed as a resolution strongly condemning the actions of the Russian Federation on the President Vladimir Putin, which has carried out a policy of aggression against neighboring countries in that political and economic domination. In fact, the bill was 16 pages of war propaganda that should have should have been made even ne neocons blush if they were capable of such a thing. These are the kinds of resolutions I have always watched closely in Congress as what are billed as harmless statements of opinion often lead to sanctions and war. All right, let's go down. The resolution accuses Russia of an invasion of Ukraine and condemns Russia's violation of Ukrainian sovereignty. The statement is offered without any proof of a such a thing. Look, because the devil don't need to provide proof. The devil never provides proof. Right? Um, let's, get, let's get to the point of the matter. 
Basically, the resolution is just talking bad shit about Russia and accuses them of different things. Now, let's get to the point. That's what now it says the resolution gives the green light, paragraph 45, to Ukrainian President Poroshenko to restart his military assault on independence seeking eastern provinces, urging the disarming of separatists and paramilitary forces in eastern Ukraine. Such a move will mean many more thousands of dead civilians. To that, to that end, the resolution directly involves the US government in the conflict by calling on the US President to provide the government of Ukraine with leave and non-lethal defense articles, services, and training required to effectively defend its territory and sovereignty. This means US weapons in the hands of US trained military forces engaged in a hot war on the border with Russia. Does that sound at all like a good idea? So, <laughs> you see where this thing is headed, man. Now, after that happened, what happened the same day? Vladimir Putin addresses parliament and accuses the West of seeking to destroy Russia. <laughs> now, if he's got that mindset, yeah. that means he's looking to destroy America before they destroy him. Someone's gonna have to strike first. Next article, aggressor nation bill put to parliament. State Duma deputies have drafted a motion defining all countries that introduce sanctions against Russia as, as aggressor nations and ordering automatic reciprocal sanctions against them. So basically, the world is gonna be divided now between the allies of Russia and the allies of America. And that's the only two camps on the planet right now. I was reading an article of it today or yesterday, it was basically saying that I think they were getting on the Serbian Prime Minister for basically saying look well, you know because he's leaning towards Russia isn't it so they were getting on him talk, calling him a neo-fascist and stuff like that which he weren't he were happy with that no, shit <laughs> basically that's what it is it's like you got to they're the two main superpowers in the God. earth right now, Russia and America. So you got to basically these nations got to choose a side. Yep. And America want to deploy a, a weapons shield in Alaska, which is against certain treaties. So, like I was saying, man, things are happening, man, and we're going closer and closer to that first shot that's going to be fired in World War Three. And once that, once it begins, hey, that's the script. Give me that script, man. Um, the, that hold back the four winds. Once them, once the elect is sealed, that's when all hell's gonna break loose, man. And that martial law and that World War Three is gonna go into full effect. And once it goes into full effect, it's, it's gonna, man. Yeah. Yeah. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the front. I know, just one quick thing I just wanted to add here yeah, before I read the scripture. Because I, I, keep, I keep mentioning Red October. In, that, in the beginning of that film, um, and Sean Connery, the Russian chief, or whatever, he was speaking to one of his, um, his uh, um, one of his generals, or whatever, on the ship, in the submarine. The first thing that he said to him, he was, he was quoting Revelation 16 chapter, talking about Armageddon, man. Revelation 16 and 16, if I'm not mistaken, talking about Armageddon. And then he, um, then he mentioned that how he, they've become the destroyer of worlds. And the Oppenheimer quote from the Hindu. Uh, Hindu court or whatever, and that's what they were. It's all about war, man. It ain't about no friendships and all that, man. I was just saying at the beginning of Red October, when Sean Connery was downstairs talking to the general, one of the generals. The first thing he said, one of the first things he said to him, he quoted Revelation 16 chapter, if I'm not mistaken, talking about Armageddon, man. Mountain of troops. And then he said, "Ah, oh, become the harbinger, uh, the harbinger of death." I mean, no, the harbinger of death, the destroyer of worlds. You know what I'm saying, so, at least know what time it is, man. Putin knows what time it is. That's why he ain't playing around, man. You know, anything America says, he's ready to backlash on them and get it cracking whenever they Look, want to get it cracking. Right now, the war, the war began a long time ago, yeah. and it's getting to that point where they know that. It's gonna get desperate. And you know what they say about desperation, man? Desperate times calls for desperate measures, man. There's gonna come a time where it's like, you know what, man? 
Yeah. We gotta start shooting. That's the level it has to be on. Yeah. Otherwise, we gonna end up losing. We gotta shoot first. Yeah, shoot first and ask questions. Look at They're gonna come a point where the law's gonna put it in one of their minds that you know what? If we shoot now, we can win. So we might as well shoot. <laughs> I'll just read that quote quickly in Red October, from Red October. It's Revelation 16 and 16. And he gathered them together into a place called, called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon, man. Which when you break down that word, mean armor meaning mountain, guard meaning the troop, like one of the tribes named God, meaning the troop, and then the one, or I'm a God one, how you say in the Hebrew. The one in the end means multiple, man, or innumerable, man. So that's what like, the mountain of troops, that's what's going to play out, man. And he quoted that in the film, man, in the beginning of the damn film. So it's all about World War, man. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? That World War Three, even Esau knows that's inevitable. But he thinks he can manipulate it, yeah, and the outcome is going to be something that he wants. Yeah, no, it. the Lord controls it. That's it. Okay. Said Just like the race rights, Esau knows that the race rights are going to go down anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he thinks he can manipulate and control it. No, the Lord is going to take control. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. For this destruction, this war is going to be a world war. Don't think that, look, man. You got niggas, listen man, all the allies, they're going to be fighting each other, man. This war ain't just going to be in the Middle East. The Middle East is going to be what's known as the epicenter. Meaning the, cent the center of, like if you have an earthquake, the epicenter is the middle of that earthquake. The World War Three, the middle of it, is going to be the epicenter. Well, the epicenter of World War um, One was what, Europe? Yeah, World War II. Same to, to, to Germany. But guess what? When they're not fighting in Africa, yeah, yeah. when they're not fighting in um, the Pacific, yeah. well, it's going to be the same deal. In this, in the World War III, they're going to be fighting in the Pacific. They're going to be fighting in the Atlantic. They're going to be fighting in Antarctica. They're going to be fighting in fucking Africa. <laughs> world War. Know? It's going to be America's a world war. going to get the main destruction. That's right. That's the only, really, the main place is going to be turned into a desert. A whole, a whole land. A whole land mass. I wish the whole of Africa got fucking destroyed too, man. I'm tired of hearing about Africa. But you know what, man? You can't blame Africa for these dumbass niggas. Niggas, these African nuts, man. These African bombarders, man. Boot African booty scratching ass niggas, man. Well, the African shit's been played out a long time. Like the old apostles been saying, man. African shit we played out a long time ago, it's just the hills. The niggas always want to hold on to something. Um, say, hold, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascend from the... Yeah, the wind is talking about that nuclear destruction. Okay. <coughs> and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, Neither the sea nor the trees, so we have sealed the servants of the Most High in their foreheads. So really, ultimately, what's the reason why Russia and America ain't really gone at it like, and the missiles are dropping now? The reason is the Lord still has men yeah. scattered throughout the four corners of earth God. that need to be sealed. God. When those men are sealed, the Lord's just going to speed it all up. God. Sort of like in the, um, in the last Cold War, um, they were basically saying the amount of times that they actually nearly, you know, sent those nukes over, but it weren't time yet because the men hadn't been sealed. 
Yeah. And that's in the scriptures, man. The scripture says, the most high ruler for the kingdom of men. He controls the wars, man. He's controlling the wars. So when it's his time to, you know, set off that last prophecy, that major prophecy, it's going to be accomplished. It's like every other prophecy that's passed in the spine. It's going to come to pass. That's it. Revelations 20. Revelations 24 and 20. The earth shall rule to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. Yeah, when them nuclear missiles hit the earth, man. Look, bro. You're talking about mega, mega tons, man. All hitting them. One nuclear bomb is shaking the place up. You're talking about thousands of bombs going off. In, in quick succession, man. That's going to shake up the whole planet, man. But the whole planet is connected, man. Yeah, the plates and all that, the tectonic plates. Everything is going to be moving at uh, mad rates, man. Everything is going to be like, all over the place, man. Them bombs are going to break open the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get volcanoes bursting out of them. All the lava, the yeah, mantle and shit. New landing, shit. New landing, all that. 